Good day, everybody. Right. It's me, Never Silent. Welcome to the stream. Alright, so, time to get this started up again. Last time, we beat most of Worlds 1 and 2. Today, I'm gonna see if I can keep up their pace and go to Worlds 3 and 4. Well, almost. I did do my homework. I got the stars from a few worlds that we hadn't cleared out yet. As in, we hadn't... Um, levels, I mean. Hadn't gotten all, uh, all of the flowers in there yet. There is one more level in the Deathly Desert that we have not finished yet because it's the bonus level of this world. And that's something I didn't want to do off-camera. So... I'm going to jump right back into that one. I hope the audio is okay, and I am not too loud or too um, quiet compared to the sound volume of the game. If I am, or if something is wobbly, then please do tell me. So, here we have Twilight Desert, which is the bonus level for this world. I'm gonna play it. Now these bonus levels there can also be accessed through the I think the neutral nexus um, world. This is an interesting looking level. But I figured that if we're here already anyway we might as well get this finished. Go away, flower. You're not the kind of flower that I'm looking for. And neither are you. Go away. Right, so... I hope... Whoa! How did I not get hit there? That was, uh... Pretty great. Okay. What is... Okay, then. That's, uh... A little strange, but... I'll manage. A lot of enemies in this level. Can I jump up? No, it's such background. Okay. Well, anyway, so I hope you've all been doing alright since last time. And. Yeah. I. Did notice that. Can I? Okay, I can't swim in this. During last the last stream. I kind of got so absorbed into playing the game. Yeah, apparently. And apparently also we have these camels here. I, I like this is why this is probably a bonus level. Also, hello absolutely trusty. Welcome to the stream. Um not sure if you're anyone I'm familiar with from RMN or if you're just here to take a look. Um but welcome anyway. Hello, hello, Babaka. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it this time. Yeah, so it's not no wonder that this level is a bonus level because it's one of the more quirky ones. Also, I got teleported way or transported way back there. Why? Oh well. So yeah, this is kind of in line with the. Oh, only one hour. I'll I better hurry up then. Yeah, this is kind of in line with the. Um, general design uh, design choices of this uh, game when it was developed being developed as in mostly try to keep it mario-esque is that even a word it is now and if there are any levels that yeah i, I knew that was going to happen and i missed it anyway go me not like i, like I need one-ups but yeah the more weird levels we're going to um, stay as bonus levels rather than being completely scrapped, but at the same time there was the idea to keep m the game mostly like an a what an actual Mario game could be. So these... like this, It's not a bad level per se, so far it doesn't seem like I'm having any problems with it in the sense that it was, it's, it's badly designed or anything. It's just weird. So I guess that's, that's why it's a, a bonus level. 
Alright. I don't have a key in my mouth. I have a skull. Does that count? Ugh. Too much, many bones everywhere. Come back, Yoshi. Yoshi, come back. There we are. Hey, now I have a use for that fire flower up there. See? Yeah, he's a hologram. Um, there's no actual toad running around here. He's just a hologram. It, it's, there's like this running gag going on in this game about uh, Agent Toad, who is, on the one hand, he's this totally incompetent secret agent who is supposed to protect the, uh, the, um, the princess, but instead... He needs two plumbers to do the job for him. But he also gives you useful advice, so he's basically the tutorial character. Why did I do that? So, um, absolutely, um, f for your information, so you're not completely lost on what's actually happening in here, this game was made by, um, by the community of RMN, which is a, right, I can't go there, a game design, uh, website, and, um, a lot of us pulled together and made some levels for this game, which was a community Mario game, made in SMBX, and... I'm streaming it. I also made two levels for this event, but were there kind of late in the game. But uh, that's going to be awkward when I have to comment on my own levels. But anyway, um, ugh, quicksand. Why is there? Qu why is that its thing? Okay. So this 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 uh, particular project was designed with. Yoshi in mind, as in to make as in make ev all of the levels playable with Yoshi and designed around using Yoshi. Now, I personally don't mind that at all because I really like Yoshi. I think he's a he, she, it. They are a very fun mechanic for. Oh, that's a cool idea for um, for Mario games. But at the same time, um, the levels also have to be playable if you're not using Yoshi. I feel like I should get up there. Oh, I screwed this up. Um, okay, I was just going to ask, how does that work? Yeah, I, it, it's true that Yoshi, for some reason, does have kind of a, like a... Reputation, probably because he makes uh, a lot of levels rather easy. But uh, that only will be the case if I feel like I did something wrong here. Maybe not. No, I can do this just fine. Um, only if you don't uh, use Yoshi well or um, design the level to be played just as on foot Mario. Or something that in that sense, but either way, it was very much inspired by uh, Yoshi's Island. So there are star, there are um, pff, nice, uh, there are um, flowers to be found in every level, which replace the dragon coins like they can be found in Mario Wo uh, World One. But if you find all five of them in a level, you get a star, and the stars unlock more secrets. So it takes some of the collectathon stuff from Yoshi's Island, which is also a great game, by the way. If you haven't played it, you should check it out. And um, but turns it into something that works with the li within the limitations of this engine. So it's a really cool idea, and it makes for a lot of replay value. Anyway, that does it for level, or rather, World Two, and now we're moving on to Giga Growth Island. If you try to 100% Yoshi's Island, you'll at some point, at least I did, fall out of love with it a little bit. Because some of those levels are just mean. As in, if you try to 100% them... <laughs> right, don't drink the water, got it. Um, but yeah, Yoshi's Island is a very charming game. And it's it kind of... 
it's very clear that it's, a, it's a, a product of the late Super Nintendo phase before they moved on into... Um, oh, wow, I already found a secret. Well, it's not that much of a secret here, anyway. Um, before they moved on into the Nintendo 64 territory. Oh, hey, look, it's it's not Aristocrab, but it's a crab, all right. Okay, you do not do what I expected you to do, but that's fine. Go away, monkey. So, here's another fun thing. This block here will allow you to remove the middle ring, which is the uh, checkpoint, and thus get all of the uh, get an attempt at all getting all of the stars because uh, the flowers. I'm sorry because if you get collect some flowers and then hit the middle ring and die, you'll respawn from the checkpoint, which means you can't get all of the, st the flowers anymore, or you'll have to backtrack. So this is kind of a compromise. It makes you it gives you an extra power up, but you don't get to use the save point. Ah, oh, there it even gets gives me the explanation. Yeah, I don't really care much about the fire spitting fire uh, power up because I'm not going to use that while riding Yoshi. And yeah, you're right, absolutely. Um, that's the 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 thing where it's worst is in um is in boss levels. If you get hit by the boss and have and don't have any way to restore uh, star uh, um your stars in Yoshi's Island. Speaking of which, time to switch. All right. All right. <laughs> this is such a weird Yoshi. I'm not entirely sure why they thought like Spitting out um, the vegetables was going to be such a like Yoshi typical thing to do, but apparently it is. Okay, interesting. I thought for sure that was going to fall off. I wonder what these are. They just Goombas or no? They couldn't be because you can't stomp on them. I don't know. I'm not actually, despite the fact that I'm playing an SMBX game right now and that I um, made some levels for this game. I'm actually not super like an expert on SMBX mechanics so it might very well be that there's way more ways to adjust the func functions of uh, or the capabilities of NPCs. Now I didn't exa don't exactly know about it. Oof. Interesting. But yeah. I'm not going to worry about too much about the technical side. I'm not ne necessarily here to test play this game. I already did that once. Now I'm more here to enjoy it and also to give some feedback regarding what I think of the stages. And so far this stage hasn't been too... Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up. Oh well. Hasn't been too uh, difficult because Yoshi and the... Uh, whoa! The feather are helping me out here a lot, but this would be way hard without Yoshi. <laughs> I was almost... Th see, this, this is where the, the the Yoshi's Island style starts screwing with me. I was expecting those coins, one of those coins, I was immediately expecting, oh, that's going to be a red coin. There are no red coins in this version, my... F m me. Ah, wow. Oh, thank you, Hallie. I appreciate the explanation. I thought I was going to have to jump off of one of those frogs. Oh, I can't spit those upwards, I guess. No. Nope. Nope. I'm terrified of missing... Ah, they wouldn't put a flower secret in one of those. Oh, I can't eat those. Hmm. So... Huh. Was this a conundrum? I, I I remember being like absolutely stumped on what to do with this stage when I was test playing, and I think I managed to fly up in between those. Um, uh, 
those uh, pipes to see what was there, but I don't know if there actually is anything there. I'm not sure why those coins are there. If there's some secret I am missing, then well, it's my own fault, but I don't see the reason for those coins being there other than being t completely distracting. Oh well. I got stuck in the water. Let's do this again. You know what? Uh. Oh, I didn't know this m level was made by that person. You're fired. Okay, alright. Oh wow! That's even worse! How am I ever... Oh, that, this is going to be a long... Oh well, maybe not. I can just... Give those guys a good vegetarian smacking. Hup, there we go. Ugh, oh, this would be so much more difficult without Yoshi. Ooh. Yeah, I uh, I I wasn't expecting like I didn't think this would would look this looked like a Davenport level that much because so far it's not been like just a lot of space with nothing in it because that's kind of the typical stuff you would expect from him no no offense no personal offense necessary but just that's just what I've come to get used to and there we are but I imagine you probably changed this level a lot too because the um, except uh, the um, process of accept accepting the levels for this game was Expect, not unexpectedly, but compared uh, compared to the previous entries in the series, it was kind of strict, and I think that's a good thing because, man, like I played Super Mario Brothers three, uh, Super RMN Brothers three, nice. <laughs> so here's the thing: um, every time you finish a level, you just get to the end. I noticed that too, Halababica. Um, and then um, there's pl there's a small cutscene that plays only if you actually get the the star. So that that little swagger that we did at the end there, evading all of the enemies like you know, like in an automatic Mario level, that was something that's exclusive to if and when you get all of the stars. So it was a pretty good level. Like the only thing that really bugged me about that level was it was a little bit on the long side and also. Yeah, exactly. Another bonus for getting all of the flowers. But yeah, the the one thing that bugged me a little bit about that level was that the was those misplaced coins. But other than that, I think that was um, actually pretty impressive. So, all right. Yeah, exactly. Whoa! Holy heck! I was not expecting that. I thought that would instantly destroy it if I vegetable it. Lesson learned. <laughs> Don't vegetable the rhinos, because they'll turn into smaller, meaner versions. Oh, this is, oh, this is a really bizarre level. So, this is a Pikmin-themed Mario level. And, yeah, the Instead of normal plants, you get this. Oh, I actually can't get in there. I thought I could. Um, bonk. Yeah, I kind of regret putting uh, Dino Rhinos into my own level after I found that out, because it's kind of mean. But it's too late now. I already did that, so. Wow, it, that's a long text. <laughs> You've served me well, Yoshi. <laughs> so. Like, on the on the ri risk of saying something awkward here, but 
I am not a an English native speaker, and I don't know what exactly the phrase "cry me a river" means. Like, I think I, I I definitely have heard it many times before, and I think I get the gist of it, but I don't actually know exactly what it means. So, if you're making uh, like a witty joke here, it, there it might be going over my head. I'm sorry to say. Go away. At least you don't come out of, as Pikmin. So, when I was first played this level, there was one... Oh, I, 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 I getcha, alright. <laughs> I get it now, thank you. Um, when I first played this level, um, I... Uh, got a, a very interesting bug to happen where some of the Pikmin would just stay stuck in the air after I spit them out. Oh, aren't you very nice, Mr. Halley? Well, I mean, on the other hand... Yeah! Oh, there it happened again! Apparently that never got fixed. That's interesting. That's not a bug? Okay. All right, you just can just run away. Oh, jeez! I did exactly the wrong. Th oh, okay. No. Ugh. Gosh darn. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I did think like maybe they are supposed to be f be like hovering Pikmin or something, but. Why do they just stay in place, though? Anyway, I uh, I th thoroughly screwed that one up, but I somehow saved it, so go me, I guess. Here, have a Pikmin. I don't know why I'm, I bother picking these guys up. Whoa! I don't know a whole lot about Pikmin. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. That doesn't look healthy. I'm not going in there. Oh, okay. So yeah, that might have been a good idea to just remove those pink... Uh... Oh, did I miss something? I think I missed something. Can I go back? I can, okay. So yeah, I want to... See. There we are. See? Oh! <laughs> nice. I just saw, um... I only just saw that you wrote that, uh, Hallie, so... I figured it out myself, because I'm a smart cookie. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Homing Koopas! Darn it. That's fine. That way, I can't cheat. Ugh. I am sucking right now. I want that flower, though. Yeah, you guys can just go off-screen and not bother me. Apparently, you cannot. You're insisting on bothering me, aren't you? Fine, then. Oh, oh, oh! Gonna, gotta leave the sinking ship? Or not? <sighs> that was my fault! I was being an idiot! <laughs> oh well. Here we are again. At least... I will say, I absolutely loathe those friggin' homing Koopas, but, like, that wasn't necessarily the game's fault. I was... I was being dumb. Yeah, I forgot about the Pikmin as soon as I lost Yoshi, because I had Yoshi and I thought, oh, I'm not going to need these Pikmin, why not even bother? As soon as I lost Yoshi, I completely forgot they were even there. So, go me. Plants versus Coopers. Let's 
It's going to be the new entry in the Super Mario series. Okay, this guy again. Let's not get hit this time. Wait, I didn't get hit by this guy last time. I got hit later. Hmm. I expected something better to be in there. Oh well. Come on out. Yoshi needs to be fed on time. Still nothing. Alright, I'll just wait for... I have actually never pl played Plants vs. Zombies 2. I only played the first game. It was pretty cool. It does get a little bit, like... Just at some point you reach a point where you just can't imp really improve any further. It becomes a little bit too metagamey almost. But I enjoyed it. <sighs> what am I even doing? Oh, okay. I mean, maybe we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't say anything about uh, the uh, as in. Oh no! I did I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Oh, hello, Zeichfried. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Oh, hey, well, that's kind of a jerk move. Huh. What the heck? Okay, that was that was bad. I was so perplexed by the mini... No, nobody else is in Discord. Yeah, what, what I did, did last time was... I... Heck. I accidentally um, uh, shot myself with the... Um okay, that's interesting, Hallie. I, I can see other people. Uh, absolutely Trusty has been posting in here in the in the chat, and... Um, Zeigfried McBacon showed up. That's interesting. So what I was saying was last time I um uh, heck I got hit because I messed up and then Yoshi somehow managed to get back f f back from the um f uh, from the from the gap Sorry, I really have to concentrate. I need to shut up for just a second. It's too much! Okay. Now I have Yoshi again. Now I can talk again. Yeah, I thought that too, absolutely. But... Then... Yes! Woo, that was close too. I knew it something like that. I thought there was going to be another big bullet, but no. Oh hey, there's Captain Olimar. I think that's Captain Olimar? I'm not entirely sure. I've never played Pikmin myself, but I have seen other people play it. Yeah, I thought there was going to, going to be uh, two Pikmin, but they apparently respawned. So that's an int interesting idea. So it was actually absolutely doable without Yoshi. It's a weird level, but it was pretty good, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Like the the that's one of the advantages and disadvantages of making a fan game, I suppose. Is you can put weird stuff like that in the game. Although I'm not sure whether Nintendo at this point would be averse to a Mario um <laughs> uh, Pikmin crossover. Oh, this is Green Thumb. This is a really really interesting level. I absolutely love this level when I first played it. I don't remember exactly how it works, but basically you get the chance to grow these mushrooms with the water. 
and at some at some points you actually need to time it correctly so that you can get to secrets. Also, everything here is big, which fit, fits with the giga growth. Holy crap! Ah, the game lagged. The game lagged for a split second, and that's when I lost Yoshi. Well, heck. Good job, me. Oh. Well. How do I get... Oh, of course. This is how I get up there. Oh, my hammer bros. The bane of my existence. At least this one th throws fairly regularly. Now I don't have Yoshi. Well, crud. Now it's just Ma Mario's archipelago. Right. <laughs> this is so fun. I just... I know it's not s a super complicated gimmick, but I just really like this gimmick of growing the mushrooms for some reason. It just, it just kind of clicks with me somehow. Woo! Oh, <laughs> I cheesed that one. I'm not sure. I thought that some of them do have uh, random intervals for throwing. But maybe it is all in my mind. Oh, right! Frick! I was being too enthusiastic there. So that one you can only get by jumping on time and getting the flower before the mushroom grows higher than where it is. Because if you don't... Oh, okay, so... Wh why did you say it was all in my head? If, if it wasn't all in my head, you troll. Oh well. <laughs> I, um... I'm just gonna, like hit them with shells and be done with it. And we never have to speak about the Hammer Bros again. <laughs> Need to look. Oh wow, I have dropped zero frames apparently. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought the... I did it again, didn't I? I did the exact same thing again. Apparently, I simply cannot talk and play video games at the same time. Boom. See, that's how you deal with hammer bros. You just hit them from a distance. Don't even go near them. Boom. Okay, now comes the moment of truth, I think. Learn my lesson about that. Not letting this thing out of my sight again. Ah, oh, thank goodness, a power up. Now I don't have to worry about hammer bros that much anymore because I can just fire them. Okay, here we are. Let's go. Nice. I forgot to pay attention to how many flowers I already collected. Come on. Maybe it is all just psychological. I just really don't like Hammer Bros. Just in, on principle. I should have dumped off of that Koopa. That was unnecessarily risky. So let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna jump on that one. I'm. I forget if I can. Yeah, I can jump through these. So my fear was for nothing but better safe than sorry. I suppose. I thought that I was going to jump through. Um, try to jump through one of those mushrooms and then bounce, like, bonk my head on on it, but that didn't happen. I don't see what changed. 
I must have missed it. Oh yeah, no, like the actual Hammer Brothers. Maybe that's just where my hatred comes from. Actual Hammer bro Brothers are the worst. They are super random. They jump all the time. They sometimes trade places or go lower. They're jerks. All right, so now I actually can do this. Is this something I can go into? It is not. So yeah, so far, it this level is about as good as I remember it, and yeah, definitely one of the highlights for me when it comes to these levels. What's that good for? Oh, right, I see now. <laughs> Interesting, I did not know that. But that seems like it's maybe more work than it it'll be worth in the end. Oh. This looks like it's going to be like a mini boss thing. Yep, here we are. I forget who made this level. Do you remember, Halle? Oh boy! Okay, you- oh, you're not going off screen. Fire enough. Oh nice, you're all fired. Wait, did I get all of the- No, I did not get all of the stars. Heck! Uh, all of the flowers. Either way, nice job, Jackalot Run. Jackal on the Run? Jackalot Run? I, I never know how to pronounce that username, but either way, good job. Oh, nice, uh, shortcut. That's not how you climb a, vo a vine, Mario. So now we have the choice between Big Blooper Basin or Piranha. Piranha Plant Pond. I'm gonna start with Big Blooper Basin. Jack a lot run. Thank you. Very good. I don't actually want. Oh well, wait, wait, wait. I do. I do want to hit this, but I do want don't want to actually collect the duplish room because. Okay, so that was completely unnecessary, worrying about that. Oh, I remember, remember this level too. As far as I recall, this was a pretty good level, but also very difficult. Because I think this is the level where you get absolutely, yeah, swarmed with fish. It's probably also going to be the place where we, for the first time, we encounter one of my least favorite enemy. Yep, there he is, for sure. Oh, interesting. Did you... Did you change this enemy to... Yeah, you did. He, do he doesn't move horizontally. Interesting. Oh, that's so much better. Whoever did this, I suppose, it was you, Halley? Thank you so much. That is so much less unfair. If I didn't have the fire flower, this would actually be tough. Because those those squid heads, they move really erratically in their normal settings. Well, that was already half the level. Okay. Could you guys please find me that way? I just wanted to investigate those pipes. I don't think there's actually anything up here, but hey, worth murdering a few majestic sea creatures for, right? 
Yep, as expected, nothing up there. Is it- would it be mean to ask if at this point you know- just know by heart who made every single stage, Hallie? Because you probably have been going through this stuff a lot. Because since there's- on the world map there is no- Oh, apparently I was disconnected from chat for a while. If anything- if any of you wrote anything after, uh, Hello Babaka, you gave me the correct spelling of that name. <laughs> I probably have missed it because apparently it disconnected me from chat for a while. <laughs> just I have just ide eidetic memory of everything in this game now. I mean, it's not like I don't understand. I mean, I probably don't understand, but as in. You put a lot of time into this game. Did I? I did miss a pipe near the start? Oh, hmm, well. I suppose I'm going to have to investigate. Ah, I hope I w it wasn't going to be necessary to backtrack. I thought I checked everything, though. Oh wait, I did not check this pipe, for instance, so... I already... my theory has been disproved. Disproven? Ugh. Like, English is easy, why am I struggling? <laughs> yeah, I can backtrack, because a certain someone uh, decided that allowing backtracking was a good idea. Oh! I don't- I'm not even sure if I remember that. No! Oh! Wow! Uh... Ha! <laughs> oh, okay. I did miss this. Oh! There we are! There's my Yoshi! Yeah! <laughs> Getting the flowers to work. Um... Huh? I think I might have screwed something up. I'll finish the level and I'll just get the flowers. Oh, maybe I can just go back? Nope. Oh, okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. Hey guys, wanna get eaten? I don't think... I'm not sure if I ever got all of the... Yes, exactly! I was doing it as we as you were speaking. That could be... I, I don't know if that could be prompted better or not. It seems fairly straightforward, I just completely didn't think about it. But yeah, you we we both both thought of the same thing. Absolutely, you just happened to be on Twitch delay. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to spit that guy out, but no matter. Now there's room in Yoshi's mouth again for another temporary guest. Oh wow, <laughs> nice combo there. I don't think... yeah, I think this is where I left off. What, well, isn't it? Or not? Not sure. No, I definitely wasn't here because otherwise that flower would be gone. Oh! Heck. Ah! Mmm. Go away. Heck yeah. Okay, so now I can be a little more... I can afford to uh, not pay as much attention because... <laughs> got all the flowers. Still don't kind of don't want to die though. Oh, well, never mind. Don't think that's going to happen. Yay! <laughs> Ah, 
I really like these little, like, end cutscene skits. Oh yeah, I, I absolutely didn't uh, think of um, having to kill the the big Goomba either, though. I I got the hint after Halababaka said it. I probably would have figured it out after a while, but at that point I thought I must have hit a switch at some point and accidentally made that inaccessible, but this is not Mirage Manor. So... And they're awesome, Halley! Those, um, those, those endings are really cool. Okay, now we're going to do the other level, because choices don't matter in this game. <laughs> At least not to me, because I want to try and get the star in every level that I come across. I knew that was going to happen. Water levels. Oh, right. Gelectros... Then it might would have been maybe a good idea... Maybe I spoke too soon? Okay. Yeah, so I, I think it could have been a good idea to um, to put a reminder up in here that Gelectros hurt Yoshi, unlike a lot of other... Um, a lot of other spike-like obstacles. Spike-like? Okay. Thank you for being such a faithful ra uh, mount, Yoshi. I I know I know that the um, oh come on. Okay, finally. Yeah, I, I, maybe I just missed it, but in the um, in the tutorial, there is a hint that... Heck. Welp. Guess I'm gonna go back to get my old Yoshi. There is a, a hint in the tutorial that the um, Gelectros hurts Yoshi. Then again, maybe it's just because I... Electros, they look to me like they're from Mario 3, right? Mario Land 3. And that I, that's the one I haven't played. So that's just maybe why their existence at all always confuses me, or rather I, uh, I just don't remember what they do and forget that they actually hurt Yoshi, not because... Yeah, in Super Mario Bros. 3, and that's the one I haven't played. I played, um... I didn't see that one. <sighs> Wait, I missed another pipe? No. That one wasn't it. Oh! I get it, I get it. Yeah, I did not check up there. I Because I, I was afraid that the Gelectros would kill me. But I, I didn't see that... Ooh! Oh, I get disoriented from, um all of the stuff here, because I think like the coral and these donut blocks I just kind of my brain just kind of starts to assume that I can move through them which I obviously can't, but no why, maybe at some point they were used as background elements in a different S SMBX game and then there's these blue thingy stuff thingies that I Assu automatically assume I have to s can stand on or cannot move through. It is kind of visually but busy, not in a necessarily in a bad way because it does look pretty, but it's just that's a problem with SMBX and or m like fan games in general is that people will use tiles differently or objects in general, and it f at so a few times it actually happens in this game too. And then you get confused. Hey, I think that's the last flower, actually. Oh, that's going to be tricky. I'm going to approach this from the other side. Woohoo! That was not the last flower. 
I'm so happy I went back for Yoshi. This would have been a nightmare to navigate without Yoshi. Did I could try going into this? Yes, I did. Whoa! Holy crab. Yeah, that was a lame pun. Fight me. <laughs> oh! I thought I could move through that. Come on! Darn it! I do not want to die. Not at this point. I'm going to be patient here and wait until Mr. Krabs here is done freaking out. And then I'm going to book it. I don't really care about that one-up, to be perfectly honest. I have 78 extra Marios. <laughs> hey, don't shoot after me! Rude. I think the only inconsistency in this game I remember was that shy guys sometimes behave differently. Oh, interesting. Extra interesting. So first of all, this level frees a different level, so it's it's a it's two choice levels in a row basically. Yeah, sh some some of the shy guys if you jump on them they die and others if you jump on them you can pick them up like in Mario Brothers 2. Exactly. And combine that with the behavior of um, some enemies in Yoshi's Island, where you can also just stand on them. Yeah. Giga Funklin. I actually know who made that level. It was Saramem. And he has overgrown grove. Try saying that three times uh, in a row fast. Um, I'm going to start here, but I'm going to do the other one anyway. But anyway, that was a, a good level, what we just played, just a little bit crowded and kind of mean, as in with a lot of Gelectros. Fun fact, I didn't even know those things were called Gelectros until very recently. I forgot what I had in my mouth. At least that one wasn't turned into potato or something. Hey, how did that happen? Oh well. This is some nice country, like, country-esque music here. That sounds like something that you might, might one might eventually do, just Mario Country, as in, like, Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> because... I, w I sometimes wonder if they called it Donkey Kong Country because the um, land and world names had already been used for Mario. Interesting. Like a water lily version of the spitty thing. I don't know my Mario terms, you guys. <laughs> A lot of ice flowers in this level. Do like the aesthetic of this level though, with the like jungly properties, but not like too visually busy. It's nice. Ugh! Here I was, too busy paying attention to the non-busy visuals to notice that I was getting fired. Ah. Uh, Okay. Apparently Yoshi cannot eat those. So you need to go away. I know this is probably completely unnecessary. Yeah, I see a pipe that's way more likely to allow me cool <laughs> mini piranha plants. How do I get up there? Do I have to Yoshi jump? I think I do. Pressed the wrong button, but it all worked out in the end. You can just come back for Yoshi anyway. 
Okay. I don't think that I actually was aware that Yoshi jumping is a thing until I started um, doing stuff with SMBX either, so... I think the funniest thing... I should Maybe I should save this for later, but... Oh, those are back. Right, because I didn't kill them. Um, when I... I think even you, Halle, were surprised about this, was when Brian pointed out that you can... With Yoshi, you can eat the blargs, the the big mouth, the mouth, mouthy um, things that come out up out of lava and try to eat you. And that's not just an SMBX thing. I tested it in Super Mario World, and it works. You can actually eat those things with Yoshi, and it's completely ridiculous because they're like three times the, the size of Yoshi to begin with. And they definitely do not look like something that should be edible, eatable. Like in Yoshi's case, it's kind of both. Eatable and edible. I think I want to go in there. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. What? Oh, oh, sorry, I missed the first uh, comment there. Yeah, that's it's really, really weird. I, as I said, I, I didn't want to believe it, and I actually tried it out. I booted up my, <laughs> my, uh, my uh, Super Nintendo and tested it, and I, I was also like, how is that a thing? Ah, <laughs> uh, bots. Okay, I don't think I'm going to need this. Oh, this is a n would be a nightmare without Yoshi, or maybe not. The ice flower probably help. Well, never mind then. I don't have an ice flower anymore. How am I consistently failing at this? I block myself with my own ice block frozen enemy. Ugh. Lesson learned. Do not jump into giant horde of flesh-eating flowers. Hey, come on. What fun would it be if I didn't just completely screw it up from time to time? I swear I'm not doing it deliberately, though. <laughs> like, I, I also want to win, but sometimes, sometimes just you do dumb things. And by you, I mean me. Oh, cool. That killed that thing in one hit. just don't see those guys at all. I keep missing them. Spin jump is your friend. Bonk. So, just in case if I at so uh, sometimes I'm not responding to stuff that you're that you're saying in chat, it's just because apparently sometimes um, my my chat is lagging behind and I can't see anything that you've po posted for like 30 seconds or so. Not entirely sure if I've actually missed anything, but it's just sometimes it just tells me welcome back to the chat after a suspiciously long period of silence. the engine hiccuped. At least these guys have a regular pat- No! This time I did see you. Oh, that's a way to do it. Yeah, it's- it's- It's not easy to concentrate on uh, playing the game. Especially when there's fire spitting flowers on screen and also trying to say anything insightful and or entertaining in this at the same time and pay attention to the chat, so bear with me, it's only my second stream ever after all. So but I think so far it's all been going 
fairly accordingly to plan. That was unnecessary. Not sure if I'll be able to clear all of World uh, 3 and 4 tonight, but I'm certainly going to try. Uh, by the way, you guys, is the audio alright for you? Like, there's no weird... Um... Yeah, exactly, absolutely. But there's no weird difference in... Um, in volume for um, the different... Uh, for the... Uh, the the game audio and my vo voice, as in I'm being too loud or too quiet. Okay. Thank you very much for hanging out, Hallie, and for giving insightful commentary. Thank you. And, yeah, uh, best of luck at work. Don't get stressed out. And I hope you can watch the rest of the stream as when when I, I'm, I'm done with it and the VOD is up. So you probably already realized at this point, uh, absolutely, but um, Halle Babica, who was just left, um, uh, was basically the ma guy mainly responsible um, for, um, for this project and uh, managing it and handling submissions and everything. Oh wow. <laughs> I mean, at least you gotta have pl plenty of healing items available, right? I'm sorry, I pro that was probably a dumb joke. Whatever. Um, I hope you're, you're, s you're still going to have a nice rest of the weekend. Oh, you great red spirit! I, I did not... <laughs> now I feel really awkward explaining all of this stuff about RMN to you. <laughs> Well then, uh, <laughs> welcome to the chat, GRS. Like just retroactively. <laughs> you didn't make? Did you make a level for this game? I, I'm not sure. I don't think so. But if you did, then my sincerest apologies for not remembering. Right. So, Giga Funklin is next. Kind of remember a little bit about this level, maybe. Oh, okay. I have to look up which level you actually made for Armen Bros. Three because I played and reviewed Armen Bros. It wasn't my favorite, to be perfectly honest. I don't think a Funklin actually is anything. It's a uh, it's like a um, English Englishization of the German word Funkeln, which means glittering, sparkling. Oh, that one! I I seem to remember that that one was actually not terrible for a level where you had to spin on. Oh no! Wait, there was yeah, there was it was like half of the level was extremely doable with the with the um, saw blades and then at some point there was just an area that I could not get through for the life of me but m I might be mistaken oh I remember this bit I think I died a fair few times here yeah this is a part the one part of the level that's incredible incredibly busy and I have to get rid of a ton of stuff before I can actually progress here because there's too many enemies yeah I think that's the problem with uh, I think in actually if you had used um, if you were to use something like Mario Maker for a level like that it would actually work because the um, momentum works way better in 
in that with the spin jumping on saws and all that, but yeah, in SMBX, not so much. Oh, that that uh, flower wasn't moving. Okay then. How am I supposed to get up there? Is it? Can I just move through? Yes, I can just move through here. Oh, okay. Interesting. So usually. All of these flowers have their own movement cycles, but sometimes they're set to... Pfft, I just wrecked that guy. <laughs> oh boy. Sometimes those flowers are somehow set to not have their... SMBX, why? Like, for once that was not my fault. The engine actually hiccuped the moment I was there and it made me lose you. Okay, I have to actually file a complaint here now. That flower does not look differently from different from the other flowers at all. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Also, um I needed a new, a fresh Yoshi anyway. You, you have three legs. <laughs> I mean, it looks like you have three legs. If I throw this... this power block right here, it's going to drop the... Yeah, that's what it's going to... It's going to drop the flower and it's going to fall into the abyss. And I did not mean to do that, but somehow... it did it anyway. Heck. I hope just hope it respawns. Oh, it does respawn. How do I get there? Oh great. I had that this Yoshi for far too long anyway. Yeah, I think that too, but I wasn't entirely sure. Do I just need to go in here? No. Oh, it's probably just up ahead then. <laughs> yeah, Halibabaka's gone. I need to get good. No, no Halibabaka to tell me I messed up. I think I might have to dump Yoshi for a second here. Get rid of these guys. Oh. Hmm. But I... I think I remember there was a pipe somewhere. Might have been this one, actually. Come on! Cease to exist. E uh, finally. Huh? Okay, so that wasn't it. But I bet this is it. Yes! Ha! And I'm sure that I cannot move... Yeah, I cannot move through that one. Woo! I forgot I can't eat those. Alright. Let's dump Yoshi for a second again. Oh, that turned into an egg instead of a... Vet. I did not mean to do that. So I remapped the my my buttons at some point because f before that I had the run button set to shift but it would cause all, all kinds of problems because if you press shift too much the computer starts thinking you're trying to get use some alternative um, control settings. I don't want to. How can I eat that one? Okay, so I remapped the um, the controls. But sometimes I forget that my buttons are now different. I press the wrong button. Ugh, there's still one more left. This is a long level. My goodness. I'm just going to jump over you. Up. No need to be unnecessarily violent. Also, I didn't kind of didn't want to use Yoshi, lose Yoshi again. Okay, boom! Oh, 
Okay, you... Or not. No boom then. Alright then. Yeah, these... These fire-spitting flowers need to... Need to look different from the the other ones because it's just too hard to tell when they're actually going to fire at you. You have to look at their their mouth not opening and closing. And that's a little bit too le little of a of a visual cue. At least the normal ones look very different from the. Um, from the other ones, if, if we're talking about the normal fire fl uh, piranha flowers here, if they spit fire. That's basically my main problem with this level, other than that it was a little bit busy and long. But, I mean, it worked. I lost... I Did I die once or... I don't, I'm not, I don't remember, actually. I think I died once or not at all. Either way, I think this is the end of this world. That sounds ominous. Naval Piranha's Bog. Here we are. I remember that this is another boss level. Watch out below. <laughs> That's a reference to another um, level in Yoshi's Island. There is a level called Watch Out Below in Yoshi's Island. Yes, I know, I'm a nerd for remembering that. Get used to it. <laughs> That's it such an... Ah, oh, good job, me. Wow! That wor wor worked even out even worse than I thought at first. Why... Why did I have to fail that... Like that? Wow. Can I get out of here? No, I cannot get out of here anymore. Oops. Okay, I don't know. I think I just didn't swim up high enough. <laughs> I, I... I just get completely obliterated in the first... Like... Ten seconds of that level. Because I was talking about Yoshi's Island. I know, I did not want to... Talk to you, okay. Now we are in a better position. So now I don't have Yoshi, but... I have a melon up in my power-up bar now, so that's a plus, I guess. Alright, so now I know don't go down. Also, don't get hit by fire. That's generally good life advice. Don't get hit by fire. Yeah, I know we're all... I know we're all nerds. Um, GRS. I'm... Sometimes, I just can't, still can't believe it. But I mean it in the most positive way possible. Because... As far as I'm concerned, nerd is a compliment. Do I have to destroy all of these guys? I don't think I do, but... Might just have been a warning, the f first three guys. Yeah. Please to Oh! Oh, okay, that's why. I'm I'm g actually going to have to destroy this one by spitting at it again, because if I don't do that, I'm not trapped. I thought I was going to be trapped, but no. I could just do this. Sometimes it's worth it paying attention to your surroundings. And sometimes... I forget to do that. Oh, this is mean. I was going to try and see if I can do that without touching ground with Yoshi. Oh, well, now I'm screwed. Ah. Uh, Oh well, I can still
still cheese it this way. Boom. Oh, uh, Secret of Evermore is maybe my favorite game ever. Definitely nostalgia bias, I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> Gosh darn it! <laughs> Ah, heck. It's got a lot of flaws, but it's so good. I really like uh, Secret of Armor. Also because it's kind of like the first like, action RPG kind of game that I played. I played that one even before Zelda Link to the Past. And it's probably not actually a game you should be playing as a kid, but I wasn't really aware of that when I was a kid. See, that's another thing, is probably the reason why I could put up with the nonsense in Secret of Evermore so well, is because I, I got it from a, a cousin of mine, who was much older than me, and... He had a game guide for it, basically. So, like a, a handbook for how to do the secret stuff in there. So, I already knew all of that because, as a kid, if you, especially if you don't have a lot of games to choose from, you will eat through that um, that guide like it's a like it's your favorite book. So, I knew a lot of the secrets in the game even before I had properly played it, because I just read the guide. Yeah, exactly. But the game is kind of more fun if you actually know like that there are secrets in there and what they do. Because... You can... There is no map for the dog maze. That's probably my least favorite part of the game. No, I don't want to die. Thank you. Because you can't save right before it? Ugh. Yeah, it, it's kind of a weird um, uh, game guide too, because... Like, there is maps in there, but the most details ones are all for the first two worlds, and it's like they were trying to rush the production, because... <laughs> once you... <laughs> the oh yeah, it's super dumb. The dog maze is a terrible, uh, terrible thing. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if um, if you could save beforehand, but no. Um, but so like the first two worlds, you have tons of extremely detailed maps with all the secrets and stuff, and then. For the second, for the for the the third and the and the fourth worlds, the the medieval one and the sci-fi one, there's almost nothing. They there's like two pages on uh, on the medieval world with basically no maps. <laughs> and I think like the one thing I really wish they had done for Secret of Evermore was just make it two-player compatible. Give one person the option to control the dog, one person to uh, the option to control the human. But they also also didn't do that. Oh well. I I'm I think I'm it, it's about time that I go ahead and replay Secret of Evermore again. Okay, I need to stop talking about other games, at least a little bit, and actually focus on this one. Yeah, I know that there's a ROM hack um, to make uh, make it two-player compatible. Oh, ho, ho, did you see that? Haha! <laughs> um, but... I haven't... I have never actually done anything with it. I, like, I have to say, I w I'm pretty proud of, of that one that I just did there. I also screwed myself over now because I can't get back. At least not this way. 
but I think it's fine because I can just freeze something and... Don't fall on top of me, thank you. And get back up here. I hope Harley sees this at some point and sees how I'm cheesing this level. <laughs> okay, I still haven't figured out how to trigger the brown or red switch. Hello? Okay. It was just me being dumb, not actually an engine problem. Alright, let's do this level completely in the wrong order. See if I can... Good job, me. Oh, I can just get out of the water. Nice. <laughs> oh, I did it again. I don't even know how I did that. Okay, how do I activate the... the red switch? Oh! I think I do know how. Yes, that's how. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you did say, see me completely screw up a few times earlier too, right? So... <laughs> Apparently I can at least do some things, right? Oh, heck yeah! Can't believe I did that on my... On my first try of this level, though. <laughs> To be fair, I've played this level before, so I kind of remember a little bit of it, but I just, just when I saw it, I remembered that you have to hit all those switches for the, um, for the flowers and that there's some shenanigans, but I mean, that's pretty obvious if you see just the colors of the outlined blocks in the air anyway. There's a star. Um. I mean, okay, yeah, uh, it's true. Yoshi is a cutie rather than navel since he's he she it is born from an egg, but like, what, try, <laughs> what point are you trying to make? <laughs> Comic, like, go home! You've had too many mushrooms. So, okay, now let's see what I am actually need to do here. Oh, I can do this? I can... Okay, I get, I get what I'm supposed to be doing here. I could either do this or... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, then. Or shoot frozen enemies along the surface of the water to... to get this guy. Oh, cool! They bounce off of the water. Nice. Oh, that's why he mentioned the navel. Oh! It's... Oh, it's a pun! It's the navel piranha, but it's also... It also has a, <laughs> a navel that I need to hit. That's... I don't know if that's terrible or brilliant. No, who am I kidding? It's brilliant. <laughs> you have a lot of HP. Then again, it's also not very difficult to hit this guy. Come on, go down already! Ugh. I mean, this was fun, like, the first four times I did this, but now it's just kind of annoying. I mean, yeah, that's re so saying something like that is really mean towards the people who develop the, the level. But, uh. Okay. Okay, so that was actually wasn't too bad, it, but it was eight hits. That was... Too much for a Mario boss, but not so much that it actually starts getting frustrating. I wonder if it's more difficult to pull off if you're without Yoshi, though. It probably is, because Yoshi makes everything better. Either way, got the star. Got the boss. 
Is that comic yelling at the piranha plant? How are you saying that out aloud? Yeah, I've always wondered if there's any way to pre-damage um, <laughs> uh, Mother Brains for the purpose of SMBX bosses. Alright, so... Star! X underscore X. Uh, colon... Uh, closed... Um, closed bracket? Okay, so next stop is Molten Mine Island. But I think I'm going to pay a visit to Neutral Nexus. So that way I can see... Actually see the bonus levels that I've unlocked so far. Oh, okay, I guess I have to take the... Individual take the individually take the other entrance. My goodness, that took a while for me to say that. Big Fat Fanto Coopers. That's a, that's a name. That is a name for a level. Alright. Let's get started. I'm not gonna spin jump while I'm on Yoshi, though. What is that? Why do you have one of those? Oh. Oh. Oops. I think I'm gonna have to take extreme measures to get this flower. I hope it was worth the sacrifice. Farewell, Yoshi. You were a true and trusted friend, but I sacrificed you because I needed to pick flowers. Yes, that's that was the day when, when the war between the Yoshi's and the Mushroom Kingdom broke out. Inevitable be betrayal. Oh, I wasn't actually expecting anything to be there. Oh, this music kind of makes me want to like run. And do this quickly! Oh yeah, Yoshi would absolutely win. It's not even... <laughs> not even a contest. Why am I picking up all of these coins? Oh well. Oh, that's why I'm picking all of the up, up all of these coins! <laughs> Hello, Yoshi! Thank you for... Uh, not minding that I... Killed, threw your friend into the bottomless abyss for a flower. <laughs> I feel horrible. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. Don't fire me, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. So far, pretty fun level. That one thing with the um, with that caught kind of caught me off guard. The one thing. Oof! Why am I being sucky all of a sudden? Um, where I had to jump off of the Koopa to get the flower. But I mean, I fixed it, kind of. Oh boy! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Gotta be quick. Those things are not my friend. Hey! Hey, hey. Come back. Are you serious? Yoshi! No, don't run off screen. Oh, butts. Ah, doesn't matter. Time to... 
pull out the big guns. Yeah, they just have no sense of decorum. Decorum? Well, you know what I'm talking about. Or maybe you don't. That's fine, too. I don't know what I'm talking about half of the time. So... Oh, they're so difficult to see, though. Happy I got brought this ice flower. I wonder what the significance of these blue coins is. If I actually need to collect them for anything, or if they're just there to give me more uh, coins, basically. I I feel like there should might be some significance to them, but. Freeze. Whoa! Thank you for catching me, Mr. Cooper. I do like the use of the waterfalls in this area. It's very pretty. Wow, okay, that, that was only half the level? My goodness, the place feels like I've been playing this level for a while now. Then again, it's been pretty, pretty good so far. Challenging, but oh, it might also be yeah that that they were just like wet coins, basically. Yeah, coins that are in a sitting in a waterfall turn blue. Because, I mean, why wouldn't they? It's a nice thing, though, but the problem is just that certain items, um, like, tend to... They, if, as a player, you tend to have certain expectations, Frick, tied to certain items. Oh! Oh, boy! That was dumb. I did not know you could do that. I, I melted that guy's ice and set him free. Oh, I don't... I'm, I can't see what's down there. Oh! Okay, uh, concentrate. And bonk. Oh, one more. Bonk. Okay, but yeah, thanks for pointing that out, GRS. That was actually... <laughs> that was actually... I, I hadn't... How? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, you're free to laugh at me now. Ugh. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm so salty right now. <laughs> you have no idea. I need to. I need to laugh it off. Um, unless I start like getting angry. Why did I do that? I spent like and it half like feels like an eternity trying to get everything in this level done right. And then I do that. I need to stop throwing poopa shells around willy nilly. It just does not work well. At least I can get Yoshi by collecting all of the coins. All right. See you in a, see you in a bit, Jerris. Yay! You turn into fire, so I can... Okay. So... Now that I... have to replay this level... On the one hand, I also am I'm kind of running out of interesting things to say about the level itself at the moment, because I've already done much of it. 
But that also gives me, like, the breathing room to actually concentrate on it. But hopefully it's not going to be incredibly boring to watch. Don't shoot fire at me, please. I'm not going to lie that about that I don't like homing Koopas. I just don't like them, in general. They're mean. <laughs> Thanks very much, Siegfried. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm generally, when I'm making, like, these kinds of comments, I'm not being entirely serious. Uh, of course, I am a little bit self-conscious because this is my second stream, and I've very little experience in the grand world of streaming, but I do hope that I am managing it pretty well so far. At least I seem to be doing alright. Okay, get... No! That hit, that hit slowed me down. If I hadn't gotten a hit there, I would have recovered Yoshi. That's fine, though. I can solve it on my own lonely self. It's not like I was attached to that Yoshi or anything. <laughs> also a huge hypocrite considering I threw a previous Yoshi into a hole <laughs> to get a flower and now I'm mourning the loss of a Yoshi. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do have to say that so far I got the impression that it's all going fairly smoothly. Haven't run into any major problems in the game or in the engine, apart from the occasional SMBX typical hiccup. Don't seem to have been dropping any frames whatsoever. I do drop my power-ups, but oh well. This time... Let's be more careful about this. I do need to go this way. Heck, how am you, how are you even supposed to do that? Oh well. Still alive. It's like we're playing Portal now. Oh no. Can you follow me into the water? Yes, you can! Oh boy. Nope. Not dealing with that. So. Alright. That's better. I... I... I'm not getting over the fact that this thing is spitting fireballs at me underwater. That's just... Oh, that's a mean place to put a... a mushroom, though. I don't know. I don't approve. Alright, come on! Yeah, thank you very much. I don't think I'm ne going to need that one up. At least, I don't think I'm going to risk losing progress because of that one up. Oh, boy, what am I going to do without Yoshi? Oh, I can just do this. Ha. I like that there's multiple approaches you can take to this, though. You can either just try to destroy the flower or slide under it. That's pretty nice. Almost like when the designer thinks of more than one way to uh, solve a problem, basically. Okay, I threw another Koopa shell. I'm going to wait it out now. Okay. I think... I think I'm good to go. Woo! I did it! <laughs> okay. Long level, I'm gonna have to say. Pretty mean level, as in... Those, um... Almost... Hardly visible, um... Underwater sheet shooting plants. And the homing Koopas. Pretty hard. On the other hand, it was the bonus level. So I feel like either maybe that was why it was the bonus level, or it was just acceptable, as in I didn't actually have to do that. 
Alright, next world. I am not probably not going to complete the next world tonight. Thank you, Ziggy. I am, however, going to at least get started. I really like this version of that song. I know I can get additional power-ups and stuff from from this warp, these warp zones, but I kind of don't feel like doing that because eh, it's kind of cheapy, cheesy. Did I miss a star? Oh right, I did miss a star in Green Thumb. But I'll I'll get that one off screen. But got all of the other ones though. Cool. Like if it was just a fire flower or something, I'd probably take it, but I don't really feel like I should take the red shoe. Apart from the fact that it prevents me from using Yoshi, and this is not Shu's archipelago, it's Yoshi's archipelago. So we're gonna be using Yoshi. Okay, so I did try at some point to get over there. There is nothing down there. Uh, up there, I'm sorry. Confusing my ups and downs. But again, doesn't every level have to have those? Okay, you guys are really fast. And also you don't behave like typical moles. So I'm going to assume you're something else entirely and I'm going to shoot you. Hey, what's up? Big mole. Trying really hard to look cool. What a hipster. Okay. How? Ha! Ah. Didn't jump fast enough. How am I supposed to get up there? Probably need Yoshi. Maybe I can get him so Whoa! Somewhere over here. Oh, come on! The kind of jumping that is possible in video games but actually makes zero sense whatsoever. Jumping around the corners. Oh well, not going to complain. The game would be much harder without this. So this is going to be very unentertaining to watch for a second, but I'm going to check all of these blocks. Oh, nothing. Alright. I just really want a Yoshi is all. Oh, okay. Gotta hurry up here. Yoshi pulls... Oh! Yay! Secret flower. Oh, that's the second one. I thought, is that the first or the second one I con congratulated exactly that I collected? Second one. And I didn't even collect that one that, at the beginning back there. Alright, Yoshi, please... There we are. Probably there's a ground pound when you press down. Oh! It's... It's this one. That's also a very strange Yoshi mechanic. I have never tested out... whether that's a thing you can do in any actual Mario game. Leap of faith! Ugh! Hey, welcome back. Thanks for returning. This is the Molten Mines. And we now have wobbly, stompy Yoshi. Like this. We didn't get very far yet, though. I had to backtrack for a second through this level because I could not get the first flower without Yoshi. So you didn't mi miss a whole lot. Although this, I do really like this level so far. It's very clever. Oh, yeah, I forgot I cannot spit you guys out as... How can I eat that one? How can I eat a big mole? That's ridiculous. 
like what what's the what's the uh, the odds that I if I boot up um, Super Mario World and f try if I can actually if you can actually do that and it just works. Huh? Oh, right. That's how you do that. I think this is a good time to use a feather. I feel like I'm kind of cheesing this level by using a feather, but... Feathers are just very convenient. Stomp! Oh. I messed it up. Let's try this again. Jump! Cool. Okay. What are the odds that there's not g I'm not going to get an additional Yoshi if I collect all these coins? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Alright. That's a good level, though. I'm enjoying it. It's kind of tricky, but then again, we're in World 4 already. So I think it's... It's justified at this point to make stuff a little bit more... Um, like... Difficult for the player. As in, fair but difficult. Let's see what the skit is going to be this time. <laughs> oh, they're digging a, a new pit. Nice. Oh, man. I just can't emphasize enough how much I like these uh, extra things. This really reminds me of the... What's it called in Super Mario World? Is it... Um, Vanilla Dome? But it's Molten Mine instead. Right, let's step on on some searing skulls. Oh, it's Yoshi I Yoshi's Island music. You just fell in lava. Don't do that. Oh, wow, the engine's being real choppy right there. And I should not do that. Alright. Stepping on some skulls. See, that's what I meant. You can eat those guys. Why can you eat those guys? It's just wrong. I, I know what I was supposed to do there, but... <laughs> Charge and chucks, okay? Okay. So, at least Agent Toad informs me whenever... Oh, sorry Yoshi. Was that just a shortcut? It was just a shortcut! Oh, I thought that was going to have to do that in order to get to the... Flower. Oh, that was a... That was... Why would you do that? Like, this is not okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm so mad. Why? Why? Like, I sacrificed two Yoshis. I sacrificed the first one, uh, and also the one I had back there on... on saved up, basically, my old one, in case I lost that one and I can't go back. I just wanted a flower. Like, why put that in the level? <laughs> okay. Oh. Good job, me. I don't like you. Go away. Now I can't do anything here. Who... What's the bet? I'm going to need a friggin' Yoshi Stomp at the end of the level 
in order to even be able to complete it, uh, as in get all of the flowers. Mm. Get off of me! There. Go swim in some lava. Why did I do that? Ugh. Oh, thank goodness. But it's fine now, I have a Yoshi. <laughs> I thought that was... I thought I was done for. I did not... I don't think Yoshi should be able to jump off of those uh, Podobos. I mean, I'll take it! Because I had I I shouldn't have said anything. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Uh. <laughs> the funniest thing about it is that my my lives count is still going up like crazy. I can do this all day if I need to, but like every death feels like a personal insult at this point. <laughs> Oh well. That's the thing about lava levels. You you have to not make mistakes like that. That's why I was kind of reluctant to put lava in one of the levels that I made to begin with. Still did it though, but it's a world world 7 level. So I feel like it's okay. But yeah. Not a huge fan of insta death myself, but sometimes you just have to. No? Take what you can get? I saved it. I somehow saved it. No! Screw you, secret ent entrance. It doesn't even do anything! Oh, it gives you a 1 up. That's what it does. A 1 up, which I probably could just get by cheesing it like this. Oops. Okay, now I'm wasting time. So. Yeah, you go that, that way. Exactly, well, I'll go this way. Just to see if the coast is clear. Then you can come. Oh, wait, you can't get bricks out of your way. Oh, well, too bad. I shouldn't be taunting these enemies. No, I totally should. Ah, this is so much more relaxing if I have Yoshi. There we go, another feather. And another feather! Probably could have saved that one, but whatever. I already knew there's nothing important in this block. Just a coin. Oh, you guys. Pleasure to meet you. No. <laughs> I did not deserve that. Especially, I did deserve that, though. Oh well. Fortunately... For a second there, I thought I was not going to get that Yoshi back. Hey guys, over here, there's something really cool here. Okay. Let's eat some potabos. I still feel like I shouldn't be able to jump on those, but how else would you clear that sec section? That's ridiculous, there's so much going on. I'm not sure how you would clear that without Yoshi. That seems to be a slightly overkill. Also, I have a feather and Yoshi, and I'm still struggling. So, whoa! Oh 
Oh no! Bad time to lag, engine. I somehow didn't die. And that's the final flower, I guess. Yup, it sure is. Okay, that was not easy. Um, <laughs> my heart is beating pretty fast right now. But I did it! Hey! Over here, come follow me! Oh, that's cool! That is so cool! Alright. Molten Mine Surf. Oh, we're going back to the surface again, I guess. So this is different from Vanilla Dome. As in, apparently switching back and forth between the upper layer and the inside layer. I'm sorry, I'm, I am kind of have a hiccup there. Snake Pit. It's an interesting name for a Mario level. Oh, there we are! It is a vanilla castle! I'm, I'm wondering if, if it's meant to be like vanilla as in standard, or vanilla as in vanilla dome. Either way, I, I like that, that you put a vanilla castle in here. <laughs> Gonna start with this one. And, as said before, one cool thing about this game is can take Yoshi with you into all of the levels, even into the castle levels, the ghost house levels, the boss levels, everything. Oh, this looks ominous. Okay, I have had enough of that. Not sure I need that. Okay, one, two, three, go. Oh, that was sure worth it. You guys are fired. Oh, it's this level! Oh, this is a really weird level. I remember this one? Like, a little bit? But it's really strange. Oh. Oh. Oh well. As in, you basically switch back and forth between two versions of this level. And they... They both have different workings. And they're mostly identical, but not quite. Yeah, there we are. See, so, like, one of them is, is in a different style. This one's the Super Mario World style. Yeah, and the other one is apparently then Mario 3. I don't remember exactly what you actually need to do in this level. I know there is something... In oh, wow, that could have gone real bad. I thought I had a red shell in my mouth, or in Yoshi's mouth, rather. Alright. I... I am going to have to... Um, think about what I'm do here carefully. Because I don't want to accidentally miss anything. Oh, here's something new. Oh, and I get a P-switch. Oh, you're right, all right. If you take this P-switch, you can activate the door back to the Mario... Um, Mario uh, 3 world. And there's two ways of getting up here. One way where you can just cheese it by taking the vine and there's no obstacles. Or you... <sighs> Why did I do that? I didn't mean to hit that switch either. I'm losing concentration. Okay. But I think they keep reappearing. Yeah, they reappear. Um, okay, let's try this one again. I think I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to um, actually do some stuff in order to get everything in here. 
I... How, why do I keep spitting that one out? I uh, should have kept track of how many flowers I already had. No, this doesn't do anything. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I'm just gonna go ahead and try finishing the level. But I seem to remember some of some parts of this level were really puzzly. So just have to be careful, I guess. Do like this like climbing thing here though. Yeah, I kinda lost track of where what is though. So I guess need to get here in the other world somehow. I'm guessing that in order to be able to do that, I need to unlock this red these red blocks first. Oh, there we are. Oh, that's helpful. Thank you. Does anything happen if I do this? Oops. Screw that one up. Okay, so... Okay, don't go up there yet, because I will not be... Oh, I can go back just by going out to the side. Either way, I need to get in here, in the other world, so... Does that actually work, though? Yes, it does. I just completely ignored this part of the game f uh, levels for some reason. Okay, uh, I need to take a really quick break for a second. I'll be back in just like two minutes, sorry. Give me one second.
All right, I'm back. Oops, I did it again. I don't think I actually need this. <laughs> All right, need to get back into the game, I guess. Just find, try to find any kind of excuse to not take responsibility for getting hit. But now I can hopefully get up in there. And it would will be great. Whoa, I almost didn't see that one. That's why I took that one with me. Oh you're right, the red blocks did disappear. Up. There was also a door up there, so I think they, yeah, they probably alternate between worlds as well. If they're um, deactivated in one world, at least I can't lose Yoshi here. Yeah, exactly. You're th thinking exactly what I was going to say, uh, GRS. I. They're probably it's probably designed to be. Um, Hack, um, going back and forth. But I already got the star now, or uh, the flower now, so. I'm still going to look what this looks like in this world. Okay. Apparently, you cannot take those with you. Maybe this was a mistake. Yes, this was a mistake because now I'm going to have to wait until that runs out. Oops, got distracted. Oh wow, there's a chunk of the fine missing for some reason. Might have been just a loading glitch or something. Why am I, am I even doing this? Okay, so I can go go back if I need to. Wonder if that was a mistake. But I don't think this level is the kind of level that would punish you for doing something. It feels like it's the kind of level that would punish you for not doing stuff, so... So far, I didn't get the impression. Oh, this is something interesting. I remember that you need to do something with these switches up here, and it's really weird because you can get you can get over it, as in you can. Oh, I think yeah, this is another instance of where you can just back out again. I'm. Pretty sure I've when I've played this level before, you were never actually trapped in um, in one direction. You could always go back. Kind of an unnecessary boss fight, but okay. Yeah. So the other uh, the alternate boss fight in the other world is going to have um. Uh, the key in it. Graphically overloading the game. Oop. Okay. That's fine. It's a tanuki suit. Very well then. Oh, well, bots. Okay, so now I think what's actually important, as in flower-wise, I think I need to go to the other side. Because this I can just do without triggering anything. There is something over here. And I need to get it in the other world. So we're gonna have to go and switch worlds. Where does the door appear? 
There it is. Alright. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Hey! Shortcut! Let's go this way first this time. Oops, I think I accidentally started flying. I forgot what I had in my mouth, mouth so I wanted to carefully dispose of it. Well, I sc screwed that up, but if everything is okay, I still have another Yoshi left there waiting for me. Yay! That's the star. So the good thing about stars is that if you collect them in this, um, in a boss level, heck, you'd keep the star, even if you die. So if I were to lose to this boss, or en if I were to die anywhere else in this stage now, I'd still have the star. And I wouldn't have to get this, all of the flowers again. So is there going to be another Tanuki suit in here? Oh no, it's just a feather. I already have that. Alright. Now. Whoop! <laughs> Almost ran into that spiny too. And there we are. Like, it's it's just a really strange level, but strange in a way that it's it's not making things unnecessarily difficult for you. Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't have spoken so soon. Oh, see? Like, it's mean, but mean in a way that you can deal with it. There's always some way out. It's not... It doesn't require you to run back and forth for all of eternity. Whoops. Even with the with the switch gimmick. Boom. So yeah. Not done yet. Things don't end with the boss battle in this particular level. And now it is time. Oh yeah, there are those uh Rhino guys, they're pretty darn difficult. But then again, the uh, the Boom Boom, as it's apparently called, did not have a um, like a big door leading to it. It was just a normal door. Oh, it's an HQ pipe. Molten mine interior. Going back inside. All right, Snake Pit. I think this is going to be the last level that I'll do tonight. Finish this up with some snaking. See if it's a solid snake level. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, now I get another Tanuki suit. Not that I ever use those for anything because I can never remember what the button is to do the... <laughs> to do the... Um, the thing with. The statue thing. No, it's some kind of dedicated button. Oh, there we are. But yeah, I don't really see the need to use it much. Also, it's confusing me, so... Let's refrain from doing that for a while. So yeah, here's another inconsistency with... Not in the, within the game itself, but with the... Um, 
rules from the games that that you um, that they, the the character graphics are from is in that you can um, you can basically uh, f shoot fire at those uh, snakes, but you cannot pick them up. Hello, big snake. I do like the big snake. Yeah, so it's it's diff different than in from Mario 2, Mario Bros. 2, which I have played, although I have never finished it. I briefly talked about it in, during my last session, but not a huge fan of that game. It's honestly kind of <laughs> quite a bit of an annoying game in my personal opinion. But that might also just have been just be because I was got frustrated. Uh, by it as as a young one. I mean, like, honestly, because um, they're the uh, oh wow, don't let people slide into hazards like that. Um, since with. As long as it's, it's consistent within the game, and if it goes against the established rules that you know, try to either try to keep it to a minimum regarding that, or and or inform the players, then it's that's fine. I'm not saying that this is bad. I'm just saying that it's different, and you need to be careful with that kind of stuff, as far as I'm concerned. But. Um, people are going to use different kinds of stuff in in a game like this and it's going to be stuff from different games I lost my tanuki suit I <laughs> messed up hey, eh, who cares and um, as long as uh, as it's not like as long as you don't change things like oh suddenly coins hurt you now it's fine, but it should should be consistent within the game itself. That was one of the major problems of um, earlier RMN Bros um, games, was that the consistency was all over the place, and in some levels you could be able to would be able to swim up lo waterfalls or, and stuff like that, and then in the next level, oh, you jump into a waterfall, you drop through it, and you die because it's at the bottom of the screen, or like nonsense like that. And yeah, not I'm not trying to spoil anyone's fun in making levels of obviously, but like at least some basic consistency is very helpful if you want to make the game fun to play and not just fun to create. Basically, what I'm trying to say. I did watch the infamous um, let's play of Super Armin Brothers One, and you don't have to agree with the with the reviewer's style, but, um, I mean, at least, like, in theory, as in just, just fa f based on fact, some of the complaints were definitely justified. That game was a mess, but, I mean, don't have to be a jerk about it. And, I mean, this game kind of proves that um, people on RMN are capable of doing it differently, because so far I have seen very little that you couldn't also see in an actual Mario game. Sure, Pikmin, probably not, but, like, as in design choices, this one is, like, not even remotely as over the all over the place as some other RMN Bro slash world entries or oh you're friendly friendly shy guys okay so they're smile guys I always felt kind of strange like what what what's what's wrong with shy people as in you need to make them enemies <laughs> I mean yeah I get the idea 
What's gonna come out of those? Oh, birds. Yeah, that was that's a really cool thing. It's like a like a pipe uh, urn. I mean, there's worse things than bird bullets. Oh yeah, it definitely is a cool level. A little bit strange in a few places uh, regarding like how it's set up, but like strange in a good way. I I definitely don't feel like this g level is doing anything like to screw me over. It's just challenging in the way that a Mario level should be, but not like unfair. I'm not sure if I checked. Yeah, I did check this thoroughly enough. Oh, I have 99 lives, I just realized. Apparently I need to die more often. I also like the, how the the sand waterfalls are being used. Just not a big fan of these guys, because their firing intervals are kind of erratic. Oh, I didn't even realize I had a saved up item because it blended in with the brown background. Hey! Okay, oh, anyway, we, I can just do this. One more flower and we're all set. So, a kind of a long level, I have to say. I just hope there's nothing important down there. Probably will not be able to. Oh, I might be able to get back there. I like that if you're standing on top of the shy guy, who is standing on top of the donut bridge, it doesn't hurt you. Uh, it may mean it doesn't drop the donut bridge, but if you're standing on the donut bridge by yourself, it does drop it. So apparently, Mario alone is heavier than Mario on a shy guy, like this. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. No! No! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Ah, uh, that's one for the highlight reel. <laughs> Slow, painful death by falling into the abyss and knowing you have no chance of escape. That moment of desperation. <laughs> it's the stuff of Mario's nightmares. Oh, right. I forgot which pipes I can go into, so I need to be checking them again. I was doing so well, too! <laughs> Oh, butts. That was totally unnecessary. Alright. Thank you. I still will be checking, but I probably will be doing stuff a little bit faster than last time because I kind of know the general workings of this level now and I also know that I don't need to dispose of most of these big snakes I can just leave them be the majestic creatures that they are in the sand I'm realizing where's Yoshi? Okay, that's one thing I don't like about this level, how it lets you slide into something where there's going to be an, an enemy. Because that wasn't the only time it did that. Just 
just gonna let the feather drop for that one because I think I want to preserve both a feather and a and a fire flower. I'm the only one allowed to shoot people with fireballs. I need to take a hint. Yeah, I think this one... Oh no, it's not this one. See, here's the... Here's this again. You can slide down here and you immediately slam into like a million snakes. Okay, you guys. I need ammunition. So I'm just going to use some people as ammunition. Because that's totally what a hero would do. Right? That's very ethical. No! Not again! Aha! I dodged a bullet. Can I? No, I cannot. No! Okay. Cannot get up top there. And there we are. Right. I should not have done that. Maybe just I can just get back out here. I always underestimate how high Mario can jump. Good thing I have those that that, that uh, raccoon tail, leaf, whatever it currently is. Here's the friendly shy guys. Oh, so you can't. Yep, you can't kill those uh, friendly shy guys either. If you throw them at something, they won't. They won't actually die. See, they, they just come back. So they're infinite ammunition, and I don't even mind. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's weird how this level does not have a Yoshi in it, though. Go away. See? I can just... See, that's because they're nice. Oops, okay, they're not in, in, uh, in, um, invulnerable to, getting, to falling into pits, though. Should have probably just left him him where he was anyway. Although on the other hand, Toad was going to ab abduct them anyway, so hmm, okay. Almost back to where we were. Ah, oh, there's so many snakes. This level had been just a little bit shorter. I did the same thing again. This this is how I took damage last time too. I should have just ignored this guy and jumped over him, but no. I of course had to destroy it. Okay. Let's see if I can not mess this up this time. I know that there was nothing under that, dude. Let's defy the laws of physics for a second and take a ride on these guys. I did it again! I did it again! Oh, man. Alright, 
You made me- now you've made me mad, Snake Pit. Enough games. I mean, well, like, not like that, but get the point. That was embarrassing. Sorry if I'm not being very entertaining right now, but I want to concentrate because I don't... As much as I like this level, despite its lack of Yoshi, I don't want to have to do that again. It's not even that I mind replaying a level a couple of times if, I ju if it's just challenging. It's just... What actually annoys me about it is that it's probably really unentertaining to watch for the stream, so... Ultra try-hard mode engaged, I guess? Friggin' Toho up in here. There's bullets everywhere. Did I get a power up from this? No. Oh well. Okay, interesting. How did that hurt them? Oh well. Not gonna complain. Shy Pal is back. If that angry bird catches up with us, he does not. Thanks for getting that guy out of the way, shy pal. Fortunately, I cannot shoot fireballs while holding onto a thing. Oops. I think that's gonna be it for Shy Pal. Yeah, there we are. But he was very helpful once again. Oh no, apparently the chat locked me out for a second again. So if you said anything since that very embarrassing second time I died there, Great Red Spirit, or anybody else who might be watching, I probably didn't see it. Did you make some kind of comment about hilarious comment about my death? Ah, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Like it just, I as for it, for some reason. Yeah, that that one I got the died as he, as he lived. <laughs> okay, I mean it's an appropriate response to just say no. If and when it happened. Okay, I didn't even notice I got to the, this point in the, in the level already again. I just kind of did it. <laughs> it's in the zone, basically. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is, this is gonna be tricky. Oop, I did it! Okay. Just have to not die for... Like, one second! Alright. That wasn't so bad. Ooh. <laughs> man, this really is like an automatic Mario level, this ending. Oh, man. Right, I think that was a... 
high note to end this level on. HQ pep, and this goes back down into the interior. So next time we can, I'm just going to go down in there to clear the paths, so we can already see what our next level is going to be. Dynamite Grotto, and the other one, just so I don't forget that these aren't like HQ pipes or something. Crazy mine madness. Doesn't that sound promising? Alright. So then. Thank you everybody for having endured my antics. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement and the comments and everything. Uh, hope it was entertaining. Glad I could do this again. And I think next Saturday I'm going to pick this back up going to be same pl time, same place, same deal. Just significantly different <laughs> with new levels. Alright, thanks very much for watching everybody and I will see you next time. Good night.